The Life of Saint Rose of Lima Born in Lima, Peru, in the year 1586 and baptized with the name Isabel. Yet, a smile that resembles the enfolding petals of a rose led her to be called Rosa. She was endowed with the ability to endure intense hardships and the pain of heart and body. The Lord was Rose's companion, for the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ was her sole inspiration. Rosa was an obedient child. She carefully obeyed all commands until she was orphaned by her mother. Even in the face of a cruel stepmother, she remained obedient. To alleviate the hardships faced by her family, she became a gardener and servant in a wealthy family. She was also skilled in embroidery. As she grew into womanhood, her inherent beauty became more pronounced, which attracted the attention of many. She even wished to ruin her own beauty so that her outward appearance would no longer draw the attention of others. Her greatest desire was to offer herself to the Lord, to emulate her sacrifice in the name of love. Her role model was Saint Catherine of Siena. Thus, at the age of 20, she became a full-fledged nun in the Third Order of Saint Dominic. Alongside Saint Martin de Porres, she helped many to recover from severe illnesses, return to the faith, and draw closer to the Lord. The Lord consistently responded to various problems in Lima, as Rose's suffering was present there. Gradually, it seemed she was being overwhelmed by illness, yet she continued in her prayers. Lord, increase my suffering, and with it, increase your love in my heart. She passed away on August 24, 1617, at the age of 31. At the time of her passing, numerous miracles occurred in Lima, causing people to flock to her wake. This was the reason she wasn't immediately interred. To grant those who desired to see this special young lady in the eyes of the Lord, She was declared a saint by Pope Clement X on April 12, 1671, and became the patroness of Lima, Peru. Her feast day is celebrated every 23rd of August. This video is brought to you by SP Power Media.